DFG Science TV, Duck Stop Bodensee, 260,000 water birds in search of food. All birds periodically change their plumage. Most water birds renew their feathers in early summer, following the breeding season. They are in molt. During this period, they're unable to fly. Biologist Anya wants to catch these birds because she needs more blood and feather samples for her research. Catching the birds requires a great deal of organization, however. The trap must be set up, a team assembled, the nets organized, and the right location chosen for the experiment. So, Doris, now the question is where to set it up. How about in front of the small reedy area where it's protruding? That over there. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to help from the employees of the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology, setting up the trap and the nets is child's play. But is this really the right place? Our plan is to slowly push the coots that are over there and those that are concentrated in groups in the distance towards the shore and towards these leader nets and then hope that they flock together sufficiently and then swim into these nets. The big hope is that they don't then instead swim towards open water or go into the reeds. Steer zigzag in that direction as well. Gabi, stop! Slowly! Out a little bit! Towards us a little, Gabi! Everything is going according to plan. This appears to be the right location. The birds swim towards the leader nets and the trap. The next job is to prevent the coots from hiding in the reeds. One is caught over there. This one is in the middle of molting. Here come the new feathers with the blood quills. They are nicely supplied with blood now, since they are still growing. And here, these feathers continue to fall out. Okay, we still need to take a blood sample. Anya now has nearly everything that she needs for her research. Blood and feather samples from coots at different times of the winter, during the breeding season and during the molting period. After dismantling the trap, she still needs samples of the possible primary food sources of the Eurasian coots of this lake, stoneworts and zebra mussels. She also needs to determine their isotope signature in order to learn what the animals ate at what time of the year and in what quantities. What result will Anya come to? Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.